scare you? Probably not, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Abigail Sunshine here. So, I'm kind of doing a different kind of video. I do not usually do Halloween stuff on my channel, but a lot of you guys have been requesting me and asking me what am I going to be for Halloween. So, Halloween is tomorrow, and I'm very, very excited. Apparently, there's supposed to be snow. So, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Hopefully, we can go somewhere and go trunk or treating or whatever. But, I had m my main event for Halloween yesterday night with my church group. And, we all had a fun get together. And, there was rides and, like, candies and a trunk or treat. And, everyone dressed up. It was so much fun. So, the reason I'm w making this video is that I wanted to show you what I'm going to be for Halloween. How I did my makeup and hair and how I dressed as. This year, I went very low-key, and I rarely do that. I've never been low-key, ever. I always go all out in Halloween, something, so, like, spectacular or whatever. So, let's get into the video. Hey, guys. So, the first thing I'm going to be using is the Pure BB Cream from Maybelline New York. And I really, I think the shade's a really good shade for me. But I also mix it with this darker shade, because it's not the exact. So, I'm just going to quickly do that. Sorry, this took forever. Now I'm taking my sponge, and I'm just gonna take my finger and just mix it very well, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I didn't get that much at first. Come on, Abby, speed it up. Okay, so I just took the excess off of my finger and just applied that right to my face. I'm trying to make this as even as possible, so I'm trying to apply it kind of smoothly. Now I'm just applying it to my neck. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be using is my e.l.f. concealer. And you can pretty much buy that everywhere. So I just put that uh, the under and uh, underneath my eyes and any blemishes I have on my face. And then I put a little bit on my nose to make sure it's all even and the colors are even. I usually dab it on my face kind of uh, and pat it a little bit and then smooth it out. So next I'm going to take my e.l.f primer and put that on my eyelids and a little bit underneath my eyes because I will be putting a little bit of black eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes. I'm just going to apply this to my nose to make sure that my um, little nose for my cat, uh, it's going to be staying there all night. Okay, next I'm going to take this mascara that's kind of dried out, but it still has a little bit on, and I'm just going to put that on my eyebrows. I know that's weird, but I just do it so it keeps my eyebrows straight all night. My little brother wanted to say hi. Okay, so I'm going to do my other brow and I kind of use this as a eyebrow gel. 
Okay, next I have my palette that I actually got from the Dollar Tree. And this is supposed to be a very inexpensive look. So I'm just going to take this kind of lighter gold and this darker gold and I'm going to mix it, mix it together and put it on my lids. Now I'm going to be applying it to my other lid. Okay, now I'm going to take my e.l.f. miniature uh, makeup palette and I'm going to be using the white and I will be highlighting my brow bone. You can also put this in your inner corner. I forgot to, but I really recommend doing that because it makes your eyes look bigger and you're trying to get that look because ca cats usually have big eyes. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my Lancome eyeliner and I'm going, this kind of ran out, but I, it's, they're still on there. Um, and I'm just going to be kind of uh, doing a, a thin line at first, but then I'm going to get this other e.l.f. eyeliner and i um, going to make it a little bit more bolder and darker and a little bit more thicker. Okay, now I'm just making my uh, little line a little bit more thicker. Okay, now I'm going to take my LA Color Liquid Liner. And as I said before, I will be making it thicker, more straight, and then I'll be adding a cat eye wing. At first, it's really, really hard to get um, the technique and holding your hand steady but I promise you it'll get so much easier if you practice and practice because it took me a very long time to have a steady hand but uh, the more you do it the better you get. One problem with me was that I can never get my wings um, like even and I just hated it so I just practiced and practiced and I got better at it and I'm more confident and I really really like that look so I hope this helps you but um, now I'm going to be using a eye pencil and I'll be putting that on my waterline I usually put it too thick, so I usually just smudge it a little bit because I like that look better. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull back, kind of. I can't really explain it, but I'm going just to pull back a little bit and just wing it out. And it gives it more of a defined line if you pull it back in my opinion but it's hard to explain now I'm making sure it's uh, even and one side was a little bit shorter than the other so I'm just making it a little bit longer okay I apologize from some reason when I was editing this it deleted the scene of me doing the first part of my lips but all I did was um, prime my lips to prepare them um, for the colors so they'll stay on longer and then um, I put on some Maybelline New York baby lips and it was in the shade nude um, so it's a good foundation for the colors and then I got my eye pencil that I also use for my waterline for the eye makeup I lined my lips with the black and so it looks more like a cat because I think that's really cute my mom actually um, thought of this idea and it was so cute and I thought it was adorable so um, then I made sure to uh, line out my cupid's bow so it looks more like a cat and then I fill it in with the pink and I actually made that lipstick the pink lipstick so if you guys want me to do a DIY video on how to make your own lipstick out of crayons and the more safer way just like this video
And now I am just applying um, some lash glue for my fake eyelashes onto this bobby pin. And I learned if you uh, put at the end of a bobby pin and um, put on some lash glue, it's easier to apply. Because this is my first time by myself um, putting on um, eyelashes. My mom did it the first time for me, so this is my first time doing it. So I'm sorry if I do it wrong. But it really applies it so much easier, and I thought it was um, really easy to put on. And then I'm just waving it so it's tacky when I put it on. Hopefully I'm doing this right because I've never done this before. Now for the last and final thing for the eyes, I'm taking my Scandal Eyes Curve Alert Mascara and very, very, very lightly brushing that on to make sure my real eyelashes and the fakes are blended together so they don't like look weird. And then there's me modeling, thinking I'm cute, but I'm really not. I think I might need to change, so let's put on some black clothes. That's more like it. I think we might need to change my hair. Okay, <laughs> so I don't think this looks like an Ariana Grande hairstyle, so let's make it into one. So, okay, now my hair was caught. Okay. <laughs> Um, now I'm taking my brush, I don't know why I'm showing you my brush, but I'm just going to brush my hair thoroughly, make sure there's no tangles in my hair. Okay, now I'm making sure my hair's sleek back, and I'm going to do a half up, half down, and then I'm going to tie my hair in a ponytail. Now I grab my black hair tie and putting it in a kind of a low ponytail. You don't want your ponytail on, on right on the top of your head because you want some room for your ears. Now I'm just brushing out my hair before I curl it. Um, if you're the under age of 10, please, please, please have an adult with you to with you, when you're curling your hair or you could also do some heatless curls. Now I'm just putting on my glove to make sure I don't burn myself. And I'm using my wand. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know where I got it from. My mom actually got it for me. So I'm putting my hair on there for about 30 seconds. So now it's on to the little nose, the cat nose, and I'm going to be making a small little heart with um, my eyeliner. So I'm sorry you can't see me doing the heart. Um, the mirror was in the way. But I'm just making a very, very small heart. I didn't want my heart to fill up my whole nose. So I, you can make it however you want. Okay, so I'm just taking my other e.l.f. eyeliner and I'm going to be filling it in, but it didn't really work out, but I will be using my um, Scandal Eyes eye pencil just to fill it in. So use your eye pencil, not your eyeliner, because that did not work out well. Now, my favorite part, adding the whiskers. So just to make it look like a real life cat, um, add some little dots and then we'll add the whiskers. You guys can make them however you want. You can make them close to your nose or more out, um, really, really thin or super thick. I prefer mine a little bit in the middle of my cheek and more um, spread out a little bit and um, more on the thicker side.
so much for watching make sure to subscribe to abigail sunshine and like this video thank you guys so 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 much for watching and um this is my very first steal the look and i think this was a perfect look for the ariana grande black cat and thank you guys for subscribing and being my subscribers if you guys are and i love you guys so so much bye thanks for watching